Hello everyone. Welcome to Arduino Yard. Today we are going to make a water tank monitoring system. This is a solar powered system that measures the water level and the flow rate of water coming from the pump into the tank. A local web page is used to display this data, making it easy to monitor and use. This is an eco-friendly solution that reduces energy consumption, minimizes water wastage. The components required for this project are a 5 volt solar manager, a 5 volt 1 amp solar panel, a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery, an ESP8266, a water flow sensor, a waterproof ultrasonic sensor, some jumper wires and a weatherproof box. First of all, we would like to thank DF Robot for sending us these amazing components used in this project. DF Robot has an amazing range of Arduino components and sensors. We highly recommend checking out their website for a wide range of innovative electronics products. You can find the links to all the products used in this project in the description below. Now, let's wire the circuit according to this diagram. We are using an ESP8266 in this project. You can also use an ESP32 with a few minor adjustments in the code. Now, let's go through the code. You can download the code from the link provided in the description of this video. Once downloaded, extract the files from the zip folder and open them. Inside the data folder, you'll find the design files for the web page. You can leave them as it is or edit them if you want to customize the web page design. Now, open the Arduino code file. This code works with both the ESP32 and ESP8266 boards. You can adjust the calibration factor of the flow sensor to match your specific sensor. For our sensor, an accurate reading is achieved with a calibration factor of 7.5. Next, you'll need to set the minimum and maximum height of your tank. The minimum height is the distance from the ultrasonic sensor to the maximum water level in the tank. The maximum height is the distance from the ultrasonic sensor to the minimum water level or the bottom of the tank. Don't forget to update the Wi-Fi SSID and password with your home's Wi-Fi credentials. If needed, you can also change the web page host name. In our case, it is set to watertank.local. The sensor values and the web page are updated every second. Now, let's add the file system uploader to the Arduino IDE. By default, the file system uploader is not available in the IDE tools. To enable it, click the link provided in the description and download the tools.zip file. Next, open the Arduino IDE, go to Files, then Preferences, and locate the default Arduino sketchbook location. Copy the downloaded zip file to the sketchbook location and extract it there. Once done, reopen the Arduino IDE, open your code, and go to the Tools menu. You should now see the Data Upload option available for both ESP32 and ESP8266. Now, let's install the required libraries. Go to Library Manager. Search for ESP Async Web Server. Find the shown library and install it. Now search for Moving Average Library and install it. Then close the Library Manager. Let's compile the code. Go to Tools and select the board you are using, in our case ESP8266. Click the Compile button. After compiling, let's upload the data files. Make sure the ESP8266 is connected to your computer and correct port is selected. 
Then go to Tools, and select ESP8266 Sketch Data Upload. Wait while data is uploaded. Now, let's upload the code. After uploading the code, we can deploy the device on the tank. Ensure the flow sensor is securely connected to the water inlet pipe of the tank. Now, let's connect the battery, start the system, and close the box. Next, open the web page to view the live tank data. When the water pump is turned on, the web page will display the live water flow data. You can also observe the water level gradually increasing. On your computer, visit the webpage at watertank.local to monitor the system and view all the data. The link to this project is given in the description of the video. Thank you for watching. Visit ArduinoYard.com for further details and projects. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel.